Let's look at another example with the try and catch block. So here we have an integer y that is set to 0. And then in the try block, we have an integer x that is set to 3 divided by y. And, and then a print statement that says prints only if y is non-zero. And then the catch block will have an arithmetic exception e. Then we'll print try to divide by 0. And then after catch. So if y is 0, then try to divide by 0 is printed followed by after catch. If y is not 0, then it prints only if y is non-zero is printed followed by after catch. So let's see this example in the editor. So here's another example. This time we have an uh, integer y that is set to 3. And inside the try block, we have an integer x that is 10 divided by y. So if, if everything is good, we'll do this. Then we're going to print the value of uh, x. Then we're going to print after the error. Then we're going to go and uh, print this and then move on. Let's see if this program works as ex ex uh, expected. So here we go. So we did the uh, the uh, statement here and then 3 was assigned to x. We printed x. We printed after the error, which there is no error. And then program went on to this line. So we, keep, we skip the catch and then move on with this. However, if I say y is set to 0 and then try to do this again, now we got something went wrong. The reason for this is that when you try to divide 10 by 0, you're, getting, you're gonna get an exception. So we don't know what the exception is, but we can print e and then try to find out what type of exception is this. So this is arithmetic exception. So Java true and arithmetic exception, which is divide by zero. So I can try to catch that exact exception and then print it, which will print the basically the same message. All right, or I can only print the message itself. I can say e dot get message. So e is an exception object. An exception object has the dot get message method, which we can call and then to print the exact error message. Here you go. So divide by zero and then after the catch. 